bass player mainly. Um, that's my main bread and butter. I've been playing the double bass since I was 13 years old. Um, electric bass has sort of always been there in the in the background, but yeah, double bass is most of my thing. Been touring all over the world last however many years. Um, I've lived in New York for five years. Uh, did my Masters of Manhattan School of Music there, and um, yeah, haven't looked back. on a little angle. I guess that's to keep the string tension. My name's Sam Anning and I'm a bass player from Melbourne, Australia. And um, I'm here doing a little review of the Silent Bass SLB 300 from Yamaha. And uh, I'm pleasantly surprised. Well, that's got the EQ in it, that's cool. There's a pickup and a mic. That's with the, just the microphone. That's like pretty legitimate. Apartment living in, uh, well, here we are in North Melbourne. We've got the uh, hospital across the road and the, um, there's a helipad on top of that. So we have helicopters taking off. We've got the police station right out the front. So we've got cop cars craziness. Um, so the neighbors are pretty, pretty tolerant to noise, but um, with the silent bass, it's a, uh, yeah, there's really like with with no amplification or anything, it's really quiet and um, still feels like a, a real bass. That's not going to interrupt the neighbors. I play in a band with Andrea Keller. She's also a Yamaha artist. Um, and I play lots of bow through effects pedals. And I find that with the acoustic bass, it tends to feed back and there's, there's other problems, you know, playing with lots of like loud guitar, another bass, um, Mick Maher, an electric bass. Um, and he does lots of loud drone stuff. So it's, it's hard to get it to cut through sometimes. And so with the silent bass, it would be the perfect addition to that band because I'll be able to drive it a little harder, be able to cut through the mix and, and add my little layer of something on top. It'll have incredible use on big stages where you're having to drive the amp a lot harder and, and um, you know, for sound people to take the, the the feed out of the amp would be super manageable, a lot more manageable than the, than the double bass. It's got a whole other, um, whole other thing going on. It's really cool. <laughs> 